Good morning, it's James. So today we're working on this VW Caddy, pretty slick bit of kit, 2014 with barn doors, S-line wheels, it's been lowered and this guy does some um, surfing and such. So in this particular, we've already done an Alpine ILX 702 with some other fancy bits and pieces. Today we are fitting a reversing camera. But also, most importantly, we are doing a comfort lining pack for him. So on the floor here, I'm just going to show you what we're going to start off by doing. We are going to fit out the roof and the sides, the doors and the floor with this silent coat uh, two mil sound deadening liner. Now, I say liner because we've done a lot of sound deadening over the years. Um, silent coat is the right at the top of what it does it's the bee's knees and we are going to now richard's opened the doors here just going to show you exactly the current state of what the van is doing so existing ply lining has been removed and richard's also this morning removed all the door panels from both the doors and then inside here, we've taken all the panels off and any of the factory panels that were on the sides here. And we're going to sound deaden as much as we can, paying especially a special attention to the wheel arches, which uh, carry and contribute to a lot of the noise. Side door will be done. The roof lining will be removed and taken off. And once we've sound deadened that, the next part of the video that we're going to do for you is the full ply lining with hidden clips and we're going to carpet it with a four-way stretch carpet we're also going to do in between the ply lining and the sound deadening um, what we call a thermo liner and that is going to reduce noise even more but also add a little bit of a layer of insulation in there so what we do is we'll come back to you on the next stage of the video and that will be us showing you how we've applied the silent coat and in the process of doing it and then we can do some before and afters so catch up with you shortly. Right, welcome back. Uh, we have spent most of the morning fitting the silent coat. So I'm going to take you in through the side door first. And as you can see, the floor has been expertly silent coated by Richard here. And... I will give you a better view in a minute because the light's giving you a bit of light bleed and you can see the wheel arches have been done. Now that has taken about half a day to do, so let's just come out. Okay, so there we go, it's a much better view. This isn't an easy job, this needs to be done properly and with somebody that's done it quite a few times, there's that experience of how to lay this sort of stuff so that it gives you uh, maximum benefits. Um, otherwise, it's pointless. Pointless fitting it. Pointless spending the money on it. Um, you can see Richard's just done the wheel arches here. And the exercise for this afternoon will be to start doing side panels. Side panels to include anything we can get access to before the carpet and the ply liner and the thermo liner goes in. Okay, so there is side doors and then uh, also on the back here, you've got both the rear door panels taken out. So if I just shut this door, uh, just show you as well, uh, it's all part of the video. We've also done nice, neat, matte black reversing camera uh, smack in the middle of the vehicle so that when this customer is reversing, it's got a nice clean image and that's going to be linked up to his Alpine system that we'd already fitted. So let's open that back up. Uh, final look of the silent coat. And then the next stage will be um, in a few hours time we will be showing you what we've done with the side panels and the roof. Okay, catch in a bit. Hi guys, right back again. So we are at the next stage of this VW Caddy comfort lining interior that we're doing so uh, let's with the light let's just walk around and show you what's been done inside here so Richard has spent pretty much a whole day and a bit 
doing all of the silent coat sound deadening. Now this particular customer wanted it done extremely properly. You can have more of a budget install if you want, depending on your financial budget, but this chap wanted the very best. So this just shows off exactly what we do as a business and how the sort of care that we put into it. So just looking into it, before the panels go back on, Richard has even gone into every possible well here that could resonate or create noise whilst driving. Now, sorry, that was my knees cracking. Um, these are the side panels. And then even in behind the skin, and a lot of people wouldn't even bother to do this, but you can see here that all of the sound deadening has been filled in behind the scenes. There is a little bit left over. So this is a full 80 sheets of silent coat have been used on this van. And then there are the rear sections here. So let's just take you around here. I'm just going to get Richard to shut the slide door and just show you exactly also inside the side door there's the passenger side wheel arch and then if the lighting is good this is the slide door of course creates and picks up a lot of noise whilst driving and rich has done in there and also done as you can see here in between the single door skin here so i'll climb out the other end rich can you just open that side door again please uh, okay, so here we've got complete panelling for the floor, which is going to have some really nice sparkle black vinyl flooring on there. You've got the two barn doors. So Rich has done as much as he can inside there. It's difficult enough because it's a bit like wallpaper. Well, it's actually it's difficult, more difficult than wallpaper because wallpaper you can move around. This stuff, once it sticks, you can only peel it back off again. And then there's the other inner door lining for the barn doors, 60-40. These have got glass in, so they're not going to make any difference whatsoever. Now, show you the roof. So, not everybody wants to have the roof done, not everybody can afford to, but Rich has done the whole roof. So as I said, this is using 80 sheets of silent coat. It's not a cheap job, but this customer wanted it done correctly and then up in the roof there you can just see the existing wiring for the factory roof light which will still be there but you'll see what we've done for that shortly and then here is the new cabling um ready to go for the let's just get that in the camera shot yeah ready to go for a single switch now this customer has said when he opens the barn doors or the slide door, you can just lean in and turn the switch on, which will independently run all of the six interior LED lights. Okay, so uh, the other thing we're going to show you just before we crack on with it is the thermo liner. So the thermo liner, here's a piece cut off here. This is what the thermo liner looks like. It's hard to distinguish over the silent coat. So it looks like rubbery foam. And it is, and you've got the backing, which is double-sided. Once you've um, once you've taken the the lining off here, you've got this nice squidgy self-adhesive stuff that will go smack over the silent coat. Now you could go absolutely crazy, and you could cover the whole van yet again with that. But what we're going to achieve with that is going to do the sides the doors and the roof and that will create even more sound deadening but most importantly that sort of thermal insulation as well um, which is what the customer requires so we're going to pop that and do that inside the van and then the next exciting stage is cutting out the carpet for all of the ply panels fitting and stretching and gluing that on fitting the roof panel and the lights and we'll come back to you at the next stage afternoon Right, okay, so we're at the, uh, well, the final stage. We've, uh, Richard and I have been slaving away and we've now finished this van and we're going to do a quick sort of show you with our well-lit workshop and show you exactly what we've done. Just get Richard to open the slide door there and I'll go around to the side and then what I do is show you exactly what we've been doing. Okay, so... Just put some lights on. Okay. 
So if I get ready to open the side, the uh, back doors, um, I can then show you from different angles. So this is a VW Caddy, 2014. It's been silent coated, floor, roof, sides, arches, the whole lot. And as you can see there, what sticks out really nicely in the camera is how well the carpet sort of molds itself to the, um, the wheel arch. And that's really nice. We've got a sparkle, rubbery sparkle, um, black vinyl for the floor and you can just see I don't know if the camera can pick it up But you can just see the the sort of glittery sparkle feel to it. It's really really tidy. Okay, so roof lining uh, I'm gonna head up now and show you up here. That's the standard VW uh, Interior light there for coming on and off when the doors open and shut. We fitted six LED um, surface mounted lights in there so it doesn't really matter if they're on they won't drain the battery down because they're LED uh, the customer has ordered some side profile bits here because he had a bulkhead in here originally so he's ordered that and then next week we're going to be fitting that and a, um, a bit of trim along the top there just to hide that and if I come round to the back here okay so here we go so we've got the black sparkle flooring. We've got both side doors and ply lined and carpeted like so. And we've got the passenger side. This is where the customer wanted his switch so he can lean in easily from the barn door here and turn on the light switch. It's a nice single switch in keeping with the trim. And also when he comes in through the side door, he can, uh, turn the lights on and off like so. So there you go, you've got your six LED lights, a little bit better of a view, better view from here. All of the thermo line are done for insulation, carpet ply done with four way stretch carpeting. And if this is the sort of thing that you want for your van, this customer has gone for the very best and got the very best. Uh, Tim will add some pictures onto the website as well. You can just see to the extent of what we've done in terms of quality to make it look and feel as neat and tidy and professional as we possibly can. Sorry, I'm just waiting for the light to catch up on the camera. There you go. Right, glad you've enjoyed it. Thanks for uh, watching and taking part as this has been uh, a three or four part sort of project for us. And if you've got a vehicle like this that you want this sort of stuff doing, we can do a whole load more from leisure batteries to security um, to all sorts of things. We even fit uh, the West Valley tow bars. We do sound and audio upgrades, as you've seen. I'm sure this customer will be coming back to us for some rear speakers, which we can easily um, plumb in for him and do some other bits and pieces. So thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. And this is Advanced In Car. Website is www.advanced-incar.co.uk. Thanks, guys.